Hello everybody! I know it's been a, um, a while. I'm doing week 26 and week 27. I'm 27 weeks and 6 days pregnant, so 28 weeks tomorrow. But it's half term here for the Easter holidays and I've uh, been busy and uh, lots of stuff has gone on. The other day, a couple of days ago, when I was going to do my previous week's vlog pretty much, uh, my mum had an accident and broke her arm and smashed her face up a bit. She's alright, but obviously there are priorities. Uh, excuse her hair, she had a hissy fit in me when I was doing it this morning, so I went, fine, have horrible hair, I don't care. And so I've not done anything with it. Stop her, stop her. We're doing a beautiful French plait, but no, no, stop it. Um, yeah, I'm that sort of place now. Um, for week 20, to be fair, probably it's all going to merge, but week 26, um, George, what am I going to say? Thank you. For week 20, mm. look, you just do that. Mm. And then he runs off and gets it like a dog and he comes back. Um, see? <laughs> I know my children so well. Uh, yes, Alice. <laughs> oh, good girl. Um, <laughs> Week 26, yes. So we went for a picnic. Please, let me do this. Please. We went for a picnic on the Sunday. And obviously I sat on the grass and had a picnic and everything with the kids. And the kids were on their bikes and hubby and I decided to go for a walk. And when I got up, I was like, oh, I'm in a lot of pain with my pelvis and my back. I really, really hurt. And I could barely put any weight on my left leg. It was really, really, it hurt. Um... No, let's not do that now. Can one, not while I'm doing the video, please. Can we play afterwards? Thank you. So we um, play doggy sauce. For yes, baby boy. Yay, cookie as long as Mummy Docky gets some coffee. He can. <laughs> I, need, I need coffee. Um, I got up there and I was like, oh, this is not good. So I managed to walk up to where the miniature railway is, which isn't on. So I was a bit like, well, this was a wasted journey. Whatever. Um... And Darren looked at me and he was like, look, I'll go and get the car. I was like, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. It's just a bit of SPD. It's fine, I refuse to get beaten. Oh, no. Yeah, after a couple of metres, I had to um, stop because I physically couldn't Mommy, walk. I thought my aunt. Oh, wow. It's my aunt's anxiety. Great. Um, I literally, no, I couldn't walk. So Darren no, had to go and, no, okay, can you get off my leg because my leg's going no, dead. No, no, George, no. come on. The battery. Off, 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 I need to move my leg. Sorry. I don't mean to pick on him, but the SPD is causing problems. I get, like, pins and needles if I do anything. Um, yes! Good job, little man. You rock. The battery was pressing. Yes. I can't see my brain. I can't because I've not slept properly at all for weeks. Seven months, nearly. Of, like, two to four hours sleep a night. It's not good. Um so, um, yeah, he had to go and get the car, and I had my SPD clinic at the hospital, an appointment at the hospital to get assessed. Um, so it was Saturday on picnic on Monday, and I was still could barely walk. So I came back with, like, the exercise and everything. I came back with a support belt, which is very sexy. And I'm now. Oh, you know you think it's hot. I'm not wearing it because I'm sitting down, there's no point. And, um, crutches, which... My friend finds really, really funny. I was like, yeah, whatever, it's not funny. Uh, it does help. Unfortunately, um, yeah, unfortunately, if I use the crutches all day, my arm is in agony that evening. And if I don't use my crutches, I can't really walk. So it's a case of, great, which one hurts less, Will? How badly do I need to walk today? But I find that if I um, walk with it on this arm, and I just use the one crutch, um, because it's worse than my left leg, but it's my right arm that gets really painful, and then I'm all right, except when it's really bad, and then I kind of have to figure it out, or not just not walk very far. But I, thankfully, I don't need to wear to use them every day or anything, which is extremely good. Um, 
The Harbin hasn't been anywhere near as bad as it was, so I'm grateful for that one, but I have now developed nosebleeds and other stuff. Um, yeah, sleep issue, still an issue. Um, brain, still a problem. <laughs> so, yeah, she's moving a lot more, and she, like, literally, she gets my ribs, and um, she's doing really well. I've got a scan on Tuesday, so a couple of days until the scan, so hopefully I'll do an update after the scan. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. It's all just this whole thing's just been a bit raw, you know, and crazy, and my brain's just not with it. Uh, it's not overly interesting, it's just... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, so not overly interesting. Not overly fun, she's awake at the minute. Are you awake, little baby? Yeah. Um, yeah, I keep saying, um, because I'm absolutely exhausted again. It's because I slept for about four hours last night, and the previous nights I've had about two hours sleep, so it's like my body registers, as I said before, just how tired I am, and it just makes me a bit of a moron. Darren's at work today, as he normally would work till 12, but he's doing a full day. Um, as overtime because they needed some stuff done. They may not be working until five. He may be done by three or something. I don't know. I didn't mean to. It was an accident. He'll help. Don't George, go and tidy up for her. Because she'll be sad otherwise. Good boy. Um, it's it's amazing, Alice, and I'm so grateful for it. Thank you. She's such a little princess. But yes, my kids have been actually really, really, really good. Now, I know they're manic now because they've had my attention a lot. Um, but they've, they've been so good. George especially. Honestly, I'm so proud of him because where I'm when, on the days where I've been really struggling to pick stuff up or whatever, he's just been such a help. Like, he'll empty the washing machine for me and put it onto the table and then I can stand and lay over the chair and take it in, into the garden and hang it on the washing line. If I drop anything, he picks it up for me. And if I say to him, oh, George, can you just run and grab my bag? And I'm not saying, if he said to me, oh, I don't want to, I'd be like, do you know what, that's fine. I don't want to use him as a slave. It's okay. And he's just, oh, my God, he's so, so good at the minute. He's so helpful. And I'm so blessed to have such a nice child. And obviously, he's still going to be a bit of an arse sometimes. But um, he really hasn't been recently. And I'm just, I'm just... I don't know what I did in this world to deserve such a fantastic little boy. Alice is actually a really, really, really good little girl, but she's also very, very lazy and um, sort of like that. And I'm having a, a minor battle with her, not a bad one. She's very, very good at making a mess. Very, very reluctant to tidy the mess up and will burst into tears and run off and cry and refuse to tidy it up. But she will tidy it up because... I'm bigger and uglier and far more pig-headed than she is. So it may take a while, but she will damn well tidy it up. So she's been, like, really getting stroppy with me. But it's now a case to go tidy up. She goes, I don't want to go tidy up. And, she's, oh. and she just goes and does it. So that's been helpful for half term. But I can't, I can't tidy up after them. I can't crawl around on the floor and pick all their toys up and then carry on being mummy i'm like it, you either get mummy that plays with you you get mummy that tidies up your toys and if they tidy up their own toys or pass them to me so i can put them back on shelves mummy can play with them i can spend that little bit of time where i can get on my hands and knees being a dog with them or you know something like that but alice is really getting into harry potter and of course i know all the spells and everything because you know Harry Potter is a way of life, as I've said. So she loves that. Um, and on that note, Michael Gambon tweeted me. Dumbledore tweeted me. Wicked. <laughs> I'm such, actually such a sad case that that really, really made me go, oh. And it was Darren that told me, he was like, he just came in and said, like, why has Ma Michael Gambon tweeted you? And I was like, what? What do you mean? No, I tweeted him. You went, no, no, he's, he's tweeted you. It's the Gambon at Lumsy Dum. So I was like, oh. So I grabbed my phone and I was like, oh. Dumbledore tweeted me. <laughs> he did something really gross. It was something about Daniel Radcliffe had whipped his out and was pistol whipping women at a Harry Potter get together. And he had to take out the Gambona and um, put 
Daniel Radcliffe in his place. And, and he said, J.K. Rowling was literally gr gushing. And I just sat there and went, oh, you dirty old man. And laughed. And Alice went, both to Alice and George both went, dirty old man. Ah! And I was like, so I literally just tweeted him saying, thanks to your previous tweet, my two, my four-year-old and five-year-old, well, three and five-year-old, um, learnt the saying, you uh, dirty old man and how to chortle. So he just said, he just literally tweeted back saying, oh, do you need me to teach them anything else? I've got a, I've got an, uh, a unique brain for maths or something like that. And I was like, wicked. <laughs> Honestly, kept me amused. <laughs> so, literally all over my Facebook and everything, Dumbledore tweeted me. And Dara was like, seriously, why do the famous people tweet you back? And I'm like, I don't know, but Dumbledore tweeted me, so give my butt. But he's just, he kept doing quotes from Layer Cake after that. I was like, no, dude, he's Dumbledore. And he's going, yeah, he was in Layer Cake and he was in blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, no, he is Dumbledore. Get over it. That, that's all I'm focusing on. That is, is what is important to me. Um, but no, that was that was funny. He does make me giggle. He's saying like uh, he can't. Uh, Ron Weasley can't remember his actual name. Is sulking because he keeps getting outsmarted by Emma Watson's parrot, and does all these tweets. He's so funny. Sometimes he's gross. Um, very very British sense of humour. But if you're on Twitter, honestly, he's at, um, he's the Gambon in capitals. And I would recommend it because he comes out with some really, really, really funny, funny ass tweets. And while you're at it, follow Lumderdums because I'm really interesting. I will tweet when I'm in labour. I literally will. I'd probably overshare and you'll probably all be grossed out because I'll be going, oh, I've lost my mucus plug. And people will be going, oh, that's sick. Um, but yes, that's it. I don't know what I've said. I don't know what I've done. I've got no idea what's going on right now, but I'll probably update as said after my scan and consultant's appointment on Tuesday. I've got two hospital appointments this week. Woo, yay for parking, because they've got the fortune. Um, yeah, that's it, it's gone. That's as good as it gets. But I love you all, and I love you all, and I will speak to you soon. Excuse me, I've got hiccups, she's got hiccups, it's all good. And again, yes, no makeup, but I'm so hot. I mean, come on, look at the clearly not the maintained hair, the serious lack of cosmetic anything, and the sleep deprivation. You know you want to look like this. Yes, don't lie. All right. <laughs> Love you, leave you, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.